Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to connect Google Sheets with Zoho Sheet. So I manage a sales team in a business and we create a record of our day-to-day -day leads in our Google Sheets. We analyze our monthly sales performance with the help of Zoho Sheet. Here what I want is that as soon as any of my team members are going to enter the date of our leads in Google Sheets, I want to automatically create a record of that same lead in my Zoho Sheet as well. And by doing this manually, it is going to take us a lot of time. So what we did was, we simply created an automation using Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. So here in this automation, what we are going to learn is that as soon as I'm going to enter the data of my leads in Google Sheets, automatically the data of that same lead is going to be created as a record in my Zoho Sheet as well. And for that, we are going to create a connection between Google Sheets and Zoho Sheet with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you want to learn about this amazing automation then let me take you all to my screen welcome to my screen in this video we're going to learn how to connect Google Sheets with Zoho Sheet I'm managing a sales team that uses Google Sheets to track daily leads and Zoho Sheets to analyze monthly sales performance by connecting these two platforms any new lead entered in Google Sheets is automatically updated in Zoho Sheet this ensures that my sales team performance analysis in Zoho Sheets is always based on the most up-to-date data, allowing us to make timely decisions and improve sales strategies without any manual data entry. And we're going to be creating this amazing automation with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect, that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the All Pabli Apps window in front of you in which you can see the 5 applications of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right over here that says Create Workflow. A dialog box is then going to appear which is asking for the workflow name and for us to select the folder. So for the name of my workflow, I'm going to give it as Connect Google Sheets with Zoho Sheets. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. Okay. Next, it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow and for that click right over here so these are the folders from which i'm going to select google sheets automations as the folder i want to save this workflow in after giving our name to our workflow and selecting the folder let's click on create in order to create a workflow a workflow is created in the name of connect google sheets with zoho sheets and there are two windows in front of you one over here says trigger other says action trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because the process depends on these two concepts over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this that means our action is a response towards our trigger in an automation process, they can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. We are going to set up our trigger step first. And for the trigger application, I am going to select it as Google Sheets. As my objective is that, that as I am going to enter the data of my lead in Google Sheets, automatically the record of that same lead should be created in my Zoho Sheets as well. So that is why for the trigger application, I am going to select it as Google Sheets. And for the trigger event, I am going to select it as New or Updated Spreadsheet Row. As whenever the new data is going to be entered in the spreadsheet, automatically public and it is going to capture the response. After selecting the trigger application, and the event, you can see that Public Connect has provided us with a webhook URL. With the help of this unique webhook URL, we are going to connect Google Sheets to Public Connect by following the steps given here below in the help desk. So firstly, I'm going to copy this URL from here. After copying the URL, I'm going to open my spreadsheet that I want to connect to Public Connect. So this is a spreadsheet that I've created in the name of Leads Detail and I want to connect this spreadsheet to Public Connect so that whenever I'm going to enter the data of the leads in the spreadsheet, automatically Public Connect should capture the response. To connect this spreadsheet to Public Connect, from the bar right over, we have to click on Extensions. After clicking on extensions, click on add-ons and then on get add-ons. Then a new window is going to appear on which on the search bar we have to search for Pabli Connect Webbooks. We are going to select Pabli Connect Webbooks. As I've already opened Pabli Connect Webbooks, you can see that as I've already installed Pabli Connect Webbooks, I'm going to move forward. But if you have not installed Pabli Connect Webbooks, please do install it so that you can connect Google Sheets with Pabli Connect with the help of this webbook, okay? So that Google Sheets can send the data to Pabli Connect. That is why it is very important to install Pabli Connect Webbooks. So I'm going to move back as I've already installed Pabli Connect Webbooks. As then I'm going to install Pabli Connect Webbooks, I'm going to refresh this page from here. As I've refreshed the page, I'm going to go back to extensions. You can see now from the options, it says Pabli Connect Webbooks. We're going to click on it. As we're going to click on it, under the options from Pabli Connect Webbooks, we're going to select Initial Setup button. 
as i'm going to do that a new dialog box is then going to appear in front of you which is asking for the webhook url and for the trigger column so for the webhook url i'm going to paste the webhook url that public edit has provided us and for the trigger column it says the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added so in this spreadsheet the trigger column of this spreadsheet is column d because in this column whenever the data is going to be added it is going to be triggered and it is going to send the data to public edit so for the trigger column over here i'm going to write over here as column d after pasting the webhook url and selecting the trigger column i'm going to click on the submit button as i'm going to do that you can see it says setup configured successfully so i'm going to go back i'm going to go back to extensions and public edit webhooks again the steps that i'm going to tell you right now very important so please do not forget to follow them as i'm going to click on public edit webhooks now from these options you're going to click on send on event as over here it is saying working as the loading is completed i'm going to go back to extensions and public edit webhooks you can see a tick mark is in front of send on event it is very important to click on send on event so that whenever a new data is going to be entered in the spreadsheet this spreadsheet is going to send the data to public edit that is why it is very important to click on send on event okay if i'm going to go back to my workflow you can see it is saying waiting for webhook response so now what we are going to do is we are going to enter the data of a dummy lead in the spreadsheet and we are going to check whether public edit captures the response of the lead that we have entered in the spreadsheet or not for the first name of my lead i'm going to write it as test for the last name of my lead i'm going to write it as user for the email over here i'm going to write it as test user at the rate publicuts.com and for the phone number i'm going to write in a dummy mobile number after filling in all the required details i'm going to open my workflow and i'm going to check whether public connect has captured the response of this lead has been entered in the spreadsheet or not for that i'm going to open my workflow that i've created i'm going to scroll down i'm going to wait here you can see after within few seconds we have received the response in our workflow that we have created to tally the response for the first name of the lead being test last name as user for the phone number a dummy mobile number and for the email as test user at the rate publicuts.com with all the other details so this means that google sheets is now successfully connected to public connect and a trigger setup is done so now whenever the new data is going to be entered in the spreadsheet automatically public and it is going to capture the response as we have the response of the lead in our google sheets in this workflow that we are creating we want to record that same lead details in our zoho sheets as well so what we are going to do is we are going to set up our action step and for the action application i am going to select it as zoho sheet and for the action event i'm going to select as create row as now we are going to create a record in a row in our zoho sheets right away of the lead from our google sheets okay after that i'm going to click on this connect button to connect zoho sheets to public connect a new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection or else you can select the existing connection after that click on connect with zoho sheets a new window is going to appear in front of you which is going to ask you for the domain so how are we going to have the access of the domain you have to open your zoho sheets so this my zoho sheets right over here and in the url of zoho sheets you can see next to sheet it says zoho dot n. So this is the domain right away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this domain from here, and I'm going to paste this domain in my workflow right over here. And then I'm going to click on the save button. As I'm going to do that, a new window is then going to appear in front of you, which is asking for the permission. So I'm going to click on accept. As the save process in my data is perfectly saved with public connect, so I'm going to click on this accept button. As you can see, that we successfully authorized Zoho sheet to public connect. After authorizing, it is asking for us to select the workbook. So I've created a workbook in the name of lead details, as you can see right over here. So for the workbook, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it as lead details. Next, it is asking for us to select a worksheet. So I've created a single sheet in the name of sheet one. You can see right over here. So for the worksheet, I'm going to select it as sheet one. Okay. After that, it is asking for the first name, last name, email, and the phone number. So these are the four fields that I've created in this worksheet. You can see right over here: first name, last name, email, and the phone number. And I want to create a record of my lead under these four fields. Right Right over here. So what we are going to do is for the data of these fields right away, we are going to map the data. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So we are going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow. And how mapping works is that I am going to click on this field. It says Google Sheet New Updated Spreadsheet Row. This was the previous step of this workflow, as you can see right over here. And as I am going to click on it, you can see this was the same response that was captured in our previous step. As over here, it requires the first name. So what I am going to do is you can see the lead's first name is there in the response of our previous step. So I am going to select this data from our previous response. As I selected the data, the data is and as I map the data, the data has now become dynamic. That means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the new data is going to be updated in place of this map data. Similarly, for the for last name, I'm going to map the data of the last name. For the email, I'm going to map the data of the email of my lead. And for the phone number, I'm going to map the data right over here. After filling all the required details, I'm going to click on the Save and Send Test Request button.
after doing that you can see we have received a response and over here for the status it says a success so now i'm going to open my worksheet and i'm going to check whether the record of the lead has been created in my zoho sheets as well or not for that i'm going to open my worksheet and yes you can see right over here the record of the lead has been successfully created in my zoho sheet as well first name as test last name as user email as test user at the rate publitudes dot com and for the phone number dummy mobile number so this means that we successfully connected google sheets with zoho sheets with the help of public connect but now for all of you guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a record of another lead in this google sheet right over here and i'm going to check whether the lead details of that same lead has been entered in our zoho sheet or not for that i'm going to create a record of a new lead in the spreadsheet right over here as you can see that i have entered the data of a new lead in the spreadsheet first name as demo last name as account email as demo account at the rate publitudes dot com and for the phone number a dummy mobile number after filling all the details i am going to open my zoho sheets and i am going to check whether the data of this lead has been entered in my zoho sheets as well or not for that i am going to open my zoho sheets and yes you can see right over here the record of that lead has been successfully created in our zoho sheets as well for the first name as demo last name as account email as demo account at the rate publitudes dot com and for the phone number a dummy mobile number so this means that we successfully created created an automation between google sheets and zoho sheet with the help of pabli connect so now to sum up till now what we have done i am managing a sales team that uses google sheets to track daily leads and zoho sheet to analyze monthly sales i wanted that that as i'm going to enter the data of my leads in google sheets automatically the data of that lead should be also entered in my zoho sheet as well and for that i have connected google sheets with zoho sheet with the help of pabli connect and this is how you create this amazing automation so if you like this video please subscribe to our channel hit on the like button button comment on if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video not just with these applications you can create automation with the help of pabli connect between multiple applications if you have any doubts you can send us email on support@pabli.com if you have any queries you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com if you have any queries regarding the pricing of pabli connect then you can check out this link if you like this video please subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment down below if you have any questions and doubts and please share this video and thank you for watching